Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this short and quick tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of falling text animations in Blender easily using rigid body physics. So without any further ado, let's start to this video. So here I'm using Blender 3.4.1, nice. So first of all, let's select everything in this default and by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first let's start this by entering our text or creating our text. So go to this add and select this text option. So here we got the text. So if you want to increase the scaling, press S and increase the scaling here. And if you want to edit this, we need to go to edit mode. So come here and change it to edit mode or else you can press tab on the keyboard to come to this edit mode and backspace to erase the text and enter your text. So here I will be giving as falling only. Now press tab again to exit this edit mode. Okay, so we got the text. So RX90, so I have rotated this here and come to this text options here and horizontal change it to center so that it will be aligned at the center so if you want to have some extrusion or depth come to this geometry options so come to this extrude options and increase the value here so we got the depth also so if you want to change the font come to this font options expand here click on this folder we will get the fonts which are installed in our pc so you can select any of the thing and open font and this font will be updated here okay so once this is done we need to convert this into mesh so currently this is not a mesh so if i press tab on the keyboard again still we can edit our text so we need to convert this into mesh so come to this object mode go to this object convert to now convert to mesh so now this is mesh so if i press tab on the keyboard you can see we got that mesh so here the mesh is not proper so we need to adjust this one so come to this modifier options add modifier and before adding that let me change this to wireframe mode so that you can see what is going on so come to this modifier options and add remesh modifier so come to this smooth options uncheck this remove disconnected option and increase this oct tree depth value so here you can see we got our text visible again so apply this and let's move on to the solid viewport right click and shade smooth okay so now let's place this here so let it be here so first of all let's apply scale transform so go to this object apply apply scale and after that let's place this pivot point at the center so go to this object set origin or turn to geometry okay so now come to this physics properties being selected this text click on this rigid body so type let it be active mass is 1 kg leave it default so now if i play this you can see our text is falling so we need to create a plane so that it avoids this text to fall down so go to this add mesh select a plane so i'll increase the scaling here and apply scale for this also okay so now being selected this plane again select this rigid body but type change it to passive so now if i play this you can say our text is interacting with the plane nice so here the text is combined so here i want this to be individual so for that what we can do select the text press tab on the keyboard for edit mode press a to select all the vertices now press p on the keyboard and separate by loose parts so now we will have everything separated so now if i play this you can see we got this alphabet separated but they are acting weirdly so the reason is the pivot point so if i select this alphabet you can see the pivot point is here if i select a it is here so we need to make the pivot point center for each and every alphabet so for that select all the alphabets and go to the object set origin origin to geometry so now if i select this f it is at the center if i g okay so now if i play this now they are not acting weirdly nice so let's add a cube as a colliding object so go to this add mesh or else you can add spear so i will add uv spear and let's place this just about this ground plane so let it be here okay now right click shade smooth so being selected this spear come to this rigid body and change it to passive now if i play this you can see these alphabets are interacting with the plane and also the spear so once you are happy with this animation we need to bake the simulation so come to this scene properties come to this rigid body word expand it and here we will find this catchy option expand this and here we can set frames here so here i think 
my simulation starts and ends at 100 frames so 100 frames is fine for me so i will change this to 100 so once this is done click on this bake button so now once the baking is done we can render this scene out by adding materials or textures whichever you like so in this way we can create this falling text animations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye